bing, 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 bing. This is me again. What's up? So anyway, I'm just driving to work. Wow, that's a beautiful view. If you can see through these trucks. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view over there. Anyway, I'm just, you know, um, driving, going to work. And I'm just trying to figure out what should I talk about. And anyway, so I'm going to talk about my English class. So anyway, Saturday I went to work, you know, in that class where I was like, where am I? In that video. Um, but this, this happened to you video. And what's very interesting, because those kids are like between, I think, 9 to 11. I think the oldest one might be 11 or something like that. I've been teaching them for a while. And these kids got, they have the uh, uh, the knowledge to speak and, and do a lot of stuff in English. And what they do is, to, um, I have them go home and the things that they say in Japanese, write them in English, translate it to English the best they could, and then I correct them. And um, one boy, I think he's like 10, and he made like seven or eight sentences and got them all right. But he might have made a mistake like with the A and the and a couple of them and stuff like that. Or he'll like say, I like apples or whatever, but instead of plural, it'll be like, uh, it'll be uh, singular. So, you know, but other than that, you know, I mean, you know, their English is just as good as any other. A regular Japanese person's English who doesn't, you know, you know, and uh, it was a trip. So anyway, I gave him an assignment, and the assignment was to, uh, um, I gave him 10 action verbs, and I told him to make sentences with them. So we went over the first one. I think the first one uh, was, I just used the word jump. And of course, you know, they got the sentence, subject, verbs, object, or compliments, or whatever. Anyway. Um, the objects, I only teach um, subjects and verbs and nouns, and um, that's it, you know, prepositions too, you know, but um, the compliments and objects and stuff, you know, I, um, I don't teach that, you know, I just use blah, 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 you know, for that space, I wrote three spaces, well, four spaces, and uh, anyway, anyway, I showed them, like, um, uh, I jump, I, I jump, uh, bed, and then room. And what I did was I asked them, I told them uh, that the bed in the room part, I didn't label them so they don't know what those, the grammatical names for those are, but I just used blah, 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 one, and blah, 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 one, and blah, 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 five. But I told them sometimes according to the, uh, uh, according to the, uh, what is it called, the, um, According to the question, the the uh, inter most the, if there's an interrogative and then the um, end of the predicate, you know, it's an object of complement. Ever sometimes they might change places. And so what I did was I showed them how to uh, how to figure out, you know, which comes first, you know, the bed or the um, room, and um, so. It was I jump and I said, okay, what we do it. So I just wrote the four words and I said, hey, let's let's be friends. They're like, what do you mean? I said, let's be friends. And they're like, huh? And I said, uh, the first word everyone knows is I. And they said, yeah. And I said, so what's the I between jump and bed and room? Which one of these words are I's friend? And they was like, huh? What do you mean? So then I just told me Japanese kanke, kanke, you know, which which are related. You know, and I was like, ah, jump. And I said, okay, and then what's jump's friend? And they're like, ah, bed would be, you know, because you I jump in my room on my bed, I jump on my bed in my room, whichever one, but, you know, the, uh, the natural flow would seem to be bed, bed, jump. I mean, bed, bed, uh, room. And so, um, so then they said, oh, it's, um, um, bed, and then jump. And then I said, okay, now that they got those there, I said, what's next? And it's like, uh, you know, like, remember, you got to check the prepositions. So I asked, I asked them to name the, because I only teach six in on add to, with, and under. And, um, but I told them there's more, you know, and they'll figure those out, you know, later. And, um, so we went through them and I, you know, eventually they figured out that it's in room and on bed. I said, what's the last thing to do? And they said, oh, check the nouns. So they checked the nouns and they figured out. And it's like, wow, okay, okay. We understand, you know. And we did some more examples and stuff, you know. And it was really interesting because the youngest kid, I think he's eight, uh, 
him and his brother in St. Clarence, he always answers the questions correctly and stuff, you know, but it was interesting. I said, well, if you guys can do this, then you guys can start thinking in English, you know, and um, of course, you know, they got to think in Japanese first, but I said, you know, but if they can start off with one English word and end up with a, what the, uh, English sentence or question what sentence that we're working on that that would be great you know so anyway i'm hoping they do it and then uh, i got these other two students called uh miyuk aoi and miyuki and they're on my other videos and um on my other channel and um those two oh my god they're so smart and but i think um miyuki is smarter though but um i gave them an assignment and i said you guys have to go home I write a hundred page essay on anything, a recorder, a book recorder, whatever, on anything you want, you know, and bring it, you know, next time you come. But it's a trip though. It's a trip. And let's see. Well, that's it. Huh.